All right, welcome back, guys. Today we're taking a look at this awesome classic solo by the one and only Queensryche. The song is Take Hold of the Flame. The guitar player in question is Chris DeGarmo. And um, this is like one of the greatest uh, songs Queen, Queensryche's ever written, in my opinion. And there's so much great stuff about it, including, you know, the chords and the clean guitar intro. Uh, and all of that kind of stuff. But today we're just looking at the guitar solo. Now, I will say that in researching for this solo, as I've never learned it before uh, this week as I'm preparing this lesson, I, um, I conferred with the original recording from the Warning, uh, from the Warning album, and then also the Live in Tokyo version, which I highly recommend you check out because it's absolutely fantastic spot on great vocals great performance by the band and you can really hear the solo uh, by Chris DeGarmo much better on that recording even than on the album it's a little bit low in the mix on the album so make sure and check that out in fact I'll put a link to that so you can see it in the description okay uh, what to say this is in standard tuning and um, while you're looking in the description box, I encourage you to grab the tab for this. It's my own handwritten tab this time. And um, also, I've created a backing track so you can try this out for yourself. And uh, while you're there, also in the description box, you can grab my free Sweet Picking Guide, Sweet Picking Boot Camp. It's my free gift to you. Make sure and check that out. All right. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and uh, let me clear my desk here let's go ahead and get started on this it's in the key of a minor and it starts out with this slide uh, with uh, two fingers you're gonna do this and I'm playing on the ninth fret on the G 10th fret B and if you have any trouble keeping up with me here make sure and refer to that tab that I mentioned that you can download so you can follow along and we're gonna do this so you just slide into it kind of from nowhere. And then pick it again, and then we're going to play it three more times. So one, two. This we're going to return to this later in the solo. Right after that, we're going into a bend. And this is at the seventh fret on the G string. We're right in that. A minor scale, A minor pentatonic. Kind of that area there at the fifth fret. And we're just playing a whole step bend on the seventh fret. Release it, pull off, and then play seven on the G string twice. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay, now immediately after that, we're going to play this fast repeating lick five times. And it goes like this. Now what it is, it's just a hammer on from five to eight on the B string and a pull off. So, and then a pick note on the eighth fret on the G string. And for you theory buffs, you will know that that is the flatted fifth. And we're just playing this idea five times. Two, three, four, five. Now on the fifth one, we're going to go back to the B string fifth fret. And then we're going to come to the eighth fret on the G and down the scale, eight, seven, five. So. Seventh fret D. 7th fret G, we're going to roll the finger here, back to 7, so, so in context, okay, once we get there, we're going to go slide from 5 to 4 on the G, pick from 5 to 4 on the G, so you get... And then 7th fret D, 
fourth fret G, and then finally fifth fret on the D string with a little pick harmonic if you can get it there. Okay, so this is probably the trickiest lick of the whole solo. Once you get this down, the rest of it should be a breeze. So we're just gonna play. Let me let me go ahead and play this slow. Okay, a little quicker. string on the third fret and play three and two on the D string and then we're gonna play this little idea still all right out of the A, A natural minor scale A aeolian mode for you mode guys so this is three and then two three two on the D string and then five on the A then we're gonna come back to two on the D three A five on the low E all right then we're gonna do this little sliding thing Slide from three to five on the A, back to three, uh, two on the A, three on the A, and then quick hammer pull from two to three on the A, three on the low E, and back to the the uh, fifth fret on the on the low E string. Okay, so let's take it from. Um, the previous lick kind of into that at a slow tempo. continue right around in this part of the neck yeah that's like the second half of that phrase sort of like a call and response type thing and what you have here is open a string and then fifth fret on the a pull off to the open three two three on the a slide up to seven Back to five, back to three, and then end on five on the A string. Okay, so from the fast section, let's take it from there and then move into this lick here, and then we'll move on to the next section. time slow all right now the second half of the solo we're going to start it just like we began Exactly the same okay right from there we have this cool lick here so we're gonna slide up to the uh, set of the 10th fret and then on the B string and then play 7 8 on the um, high E and then uh, pick hammer pull on seven and eight so back to ten on the B okay and from there we're gonna play three eighths 
on the high E string. Like that. Okay, and then the second half of the lick is uh, 7, hammer on to 8, pull up to 7. 10, B, back to 7 on the high E. Ten, uh, 8, 7, pull off. 10, B, and um, back to 7, high E. Okay, and that's, and then we're going to end that by bending the 10th fret on the B string up a whole step. Release, pull off to 8. Whoops. And then end on 10 on the B string. So that whole little lick there is... We'll pick harmonic there too on the bend if you can get it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is slide all the way up to 14 on the G string and then play 13 and 13 on the B and the high E at the same time. And then bend 15 on the B up a whole step. Rebend it. Grab 15 on the high E while that's bent. Then pick 15 on the B again. Lower it. Pull off to 13. And then end on 15 on the B. Play 13 on the B, slide back to 12, and then hammer on back to 13. All right, so let's do this. Let's take it from the second half of the solo, starting here. Okay, now the, the uh, last part of the solo here. Let's take a look at that. We're just going to play 12, 13 on the B, 15 high E, and then back to 12, 13 on the B, 12 on the high E, and then 12 B again, and up to 15 on the B. Okay? Okay, and then the final run to end this bad boy, we're going to play uh, groups of four notes here. It's 13, 15, 17 on the B and then back to 15. Then we're going to play um, 17, 13, let's see. Yeah, we're going to play uh, 17 B, 13 high E, back to 17. B and then 13 again high E. So so far we have this. Then we're gonna play 15 high E back to 13 high E. 15 uh, high E back to seven uh, up to 17. So that run should sound like this. Notice on the high E, I'm grabbing this 17 with my ring finger. That's because I'm going to slide up from 17 up to 20 and then play 19. And that's where the solo ends. That last run's all alternate picked. Here's the second half of the solo. So that's the whole thing guys it's um, 
really well composed. I think a lot of Queensryche stuff is uh, notable because it's so it's so it, it fits together so well. It's not just a bunch of rambling notes and stuff. They really put some time. And this was way back when they were young guys. I mean, they were probably in their early twenties when this came out. And so it just goes to show that they really took their time and took their craft seriously. Um, and uh, um, I mean, and they continued to do so. And it's it's very obvious. These days, if you watch Queens Reich with um, Todd Latore on vocals. Michael Wilton is the guy that plays the solo here. And he plays it slightly differently. I know it's pretty close, but slightly differently than Chris played it. But in any case, um, I, can, I encourage you to go back to the Queensryche Take Hold of the Flame li uh, Live in Tokyo. I think it's 84. And check that version out, and you will be blown away if you haven't seen that before. And you can really hear Chris's guitar part in there. Okay, so I hope that helps. Hope it uh, makes sense. Make sure to grab the tab and the backing tracks. So you can try this out for yourself. And um, uh, make sure and grab that free sweet picking guide as well. Now, if you guys uh, love this kind of thing with uh, Queen's Rag and, um, you know, some of these cool 80s bands where you have uh, me breaking down the solo and giving you a backing track and tab, if you like that this style of lesson, let me know in the comments and I'll keep doing those. All right. Until next time, rock on. Mm -hmm.